Moreno and good morning Blue Devils. I'm Giselle Vasquez and I'm Eric Packer and we are back and better than ever for today's sports and activities announcements. We open up with the ABC countdown. Woohoo! Tomorrow is letter D for April 21st. Dress like your teacher. Dress in the style of your favorite teacher and Monday the letter is E. Exercise attire. So wear workout clothes for April 24th. We start with boys baseball, who over the past few weeks has really been dominating their opponents. Warren defeated Stevenson on April 13th by a final score of 13 to eight. Winning pitcher was Brian Bookert, while Cole Clark went three for five with two RBIs, and Adam Schills was two for five with a double and two RBIs. Anthony Font went two for four the next day when Warren defeated Deerfield by a final score of nine to eight in eight innings of play. Brown got the win as Adam Schills was 3 for 4 with two RBIs, Sam Schmidt went 1 for 1 with a pinch hit double, and Adam Behrens was 1 for 1 with a pinch hit single as Beck Kelberg had the game winning hit in the bottom of the 8th inning. We will recap this week's game versus Lake Zurich, Palatine, and Mundelein. The Blue Devils are currently 10-3 and three on the season. The varsity softball team this year has gotten off to a solid start by going 9-5 and five this year despite all the weather issues and cancellations. This senior heavy team will play all home games next week, including Monday vs. Zion, Tuesday vs. Libertyville, Friday vs. Grays Lake North, and Saturday vs. Lincoln Way East. Come out and support the Blue Devils on their home field at the Almond Campus. Warren's girls lacrosse is enjoying a great start to the season with a 6-1 and one record and are on a 6 game winning streak. In one of their most recent games against Glenbrook North, they won by a score of 18 to 10. Leading scores of the game were Julia Werner and Lucy Moore with six goals each. Last Wednesday, April 12th, the team opened up conference play with a 25 to 6 win against Libertyville and followed up with a win against Deerfield 22 to 9 on Friday under the lights. Leading scores were against Libertyville were Lucy Moore with seven goals and Julia Werner with six goals. Leading scorers against Deerfield were Lucy Moore, Julia Werner, and Avery Bishop with five goals apiece. The Blue Devils have also had great defense play from Venus Bernard. This week, Girls Across team plays home against Lake Zurich away against Latin on tonight and home against Cattle Moraine. We will recap those games next week. On Thursday, April 6th, the girls track and field team completed at the Prospect Relays. It was a fun night for the team as there were several who placed and scored points throughout the evening. In the field events, the pole vault team, Alani Matias, Lucia Marizni, Isali Castro, and Aubrey Smith took sixth place. In the triple jump, Sarah Katerik, Maddie Kunish, Anna Nguau, and Lauren Bonzos took sixth. Long jump took fourth place with jumps by Bella Whitworth, Sarah Katerik, Maddie Markle, and Paula Garcia Neto. The JV 2000 meter medley relay of Leah Dieters, Josie Shank, Karina Tandava, and Doris Ayton took sixth in the race. The JV team also placed fifth in the 4x100 relay with Brianna Taylor, Anna Aguau, Evie Haggerty, and Haley Haman. The varsity 4000 medley relay of Kylie Florence, Maddie Hecker, Emily Townsend, and Mia Pasha took fourth. Bella Whitworth, Abby Iklas, Iwamukuma, and Adams teamed up to take six in the varsity 4x100. The 4x200 team of Faith Gaston, Abby Iklas, Cara Chaney, and Carolina Martinez took fifth in their race. The 4x100 relay of uh, Valeria Garcia, Alyssa Garcia Lewis, Sarah Copenharve, and Tamia Dixon took a close second place finish. The highlight of the night was the final race, the varsity 4x400 meter relay. Mia Pasha, Carolina Martinez, Addison Flipowitz, and Maddie Hecker took first as they blew away the field by almost five seconds, finishing in a time of four minutes, seven seconds, .92. Earlier this month, Caleb Levy placed second at the Arcadia Invitational in California. Congrats, Caleb. The boys' track season is heating up and we will be covering them in the weeks ahead as they look to improve their second place finish in state from last year. 
Boys Volleyball had their first conference match against Libertyville. JV took a set from them, ultimately losing in three. Our remaining levels lost in two. Varsity went two and four at our home tournament. Varsity defeated Carmel Catholic on Monday, April 10th in three sets. Junior libero Peter Wollen led the team in digs with 24. Junior middle hitter Tyrese Armstrong led the team in kills with eight. Warren's varsity team defeated Carmel Catholic in three sets. They also defeated Evanston, ranked 20th in Illinois, in three sets. Junior libero Peter Wollen is currently leading the team in digs this season with 96 digs. Senior Jacob Brulard is leading the team with 31 season blocks. Senior Alec Dangel is leading with 63 kills, and junior Adam Juarez is leading in assists with 93. Before we move on to activity announcements, we are joined again by Will Hagen from the WTHS Astronomy Club. As you know, the month of April is an International Astronomy Club, and Will has a fun fact to share with us. Take it away! Did you know that the Pillars of Creation were discovered in 1995, built from 8,000 stars that formed roughly five and a half million years ago? It's about five times the size of the solar system. Last Saturday, Max, along with students from SOS and NHS, conducted a litter cleanup along ComEd West walking trail that stretches from Hunt Club Road all the way to Knowles Road in Gurney. Students also cleaned up many of the side streaks along the way, removing several bags of trash and recyclables. Thanks for your help, everyone. It was an incredible weekend in Springfield for FBLA's State Leadership Conference. Overall, we were very proud of our members and how they performed. Out of 69 students that attended the conference, 55 students placed and 33 students qualified to attend the National Leadership Conference in Atlanta, Georgia this summer. Warren Township also completed all four levels of the champion chapter, received second in the Robert T. Stickler Award, and was announced as the third largest chapter in the state of Illinois. Yash Sharma did a great job presiding over the conference as a state president, and John V. Coley did a great job as state parliamentarian. John V. Coley was also elected as a 2023-2024 Illinois FBLA state president. Congratulations to these first placed winners. Please join Spanish Club this Thursday, April 20th at 315 in room 215 for trivia games. We will also be discussing opportunities to get more involved in Spanish Club as leaders next year. We are all are welcome. Hope to see you there. The next tech team meeting is today. Tech team is open to all WTHS students. This week we will be discussing 3D printing. They meet after school and will play in room 258 from 325 to 4 p.m. All are welcome. Bring a friend and late bus passes will be provided. The Live Arts Festival is Friday, April 28th this year. If you are in art, ceramics, photography, or sculpture for a semester, bring one of your pieces you made in class to be in the Live Arts Festival. All work is due by your art teacher Friday, April 21st. French Club, please join us for the last general meeting for this school year on Tuesday, April 25th. We will meet at the Old Plain campus in room 217 at 320 for a scavenger hunt. Everyone is welcome and late bus passes will be available. Finally, did you ignore all the emails and announcements we sent this year about buying a yearbook? The yearbookordercenter.com website has shut down, but never fear. You can still order your yearbook by going to the Warren webpage and going under eFunds. Under fee payments, you will see a spot to order your yearbook. Do it now so you don't forget. They are sold on a first come, first serve basis. Yearbooks should arrive around May 8th. More details to come later. We will see you next Monday. Have a great day and weekend, and remember we are respectful, resilient, engaged now and always. Go Blue Devils! Devils.